Hello everyone, welcome back and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahendra Guleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry and in this video I am continuing my discussion on Lee Chatelier Principle and today I will explain the effect of change of temperature on the state of equilibrium. And in my previous video, I discussed what is uh, Lee Chatelier principle and I also explained the effect of change of concentration on the state of equilibrium. But before coming on to today's topic, let us quickly recapitulate Lee Chatelier principle. So according to this principle, when a system in equilibrium is subjected to any change in uh, concentration, temperature or pressure, then the equilibrium shifts in the direction that undo the effect of change imposed. And I told you the meaning of this word undo, uh, the meaning of this word is reversal of a change. So when the equilibrium is subjected to a change in concentration, temperature or pressure, then the equilibrium will shift in the direction in which the effect of that change is reversed, will be reversed uh, and the equilibrium is re-established. Okay? So now let us discuss the effect of change of temperature. So friends, the change of temperature alters the state of equilibrium for only those reactions in which either heat is evolved, that is exothermic reactions, or the heat is absorbed, that is endothermic reactions. And actually, every such type of reaction uh, may, is made up of two opposing reactions. Okay? Uh, if the forward reaction is exothermic, then the backward reaction will be endothermic or vice versa. Okay, and to explain this effect, I have considered here an exothermic reaction, that is the reaction uh, for the formation of ammonia, and in which one mole of nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen, giving us two moles of ammonia. All the reactants and products are present in the gaseous phase. And delta H for this reaction is minus 92.4 kilojoule. Okay, this means that here the forward reaction is exothermic and the backward reaction is endothermic okay now if i increase the temperature of the system or the reaction then the heat will be supplied to the system okay and to undo or to reverse the effect of this heat supplied or increase in temperature the heat supplied to the system must be reabsorbed and the temperature should decrease again okay so this means that the equilibrium will be shifted in the direction in which the heat is absorbed and we know that the endothermic reactions proceed with the absorption of heat so here we can say that increase in temperature will shift the equilibrium in the direction of endo thermic reactions or the endothermic reactions are favored by the increase in temperature okay and if we decrease the temperature of the system then the heat will be uh, withdrawn from the system or the heat will be removed from the system okay then to undo or to reverse the effect of this decreased temperature the heat must be evolved in the system and the temperature should increase again. This means that the equilibrium will shift in that direction in which the heat is evolved. And we know that the exothermic reactions proceed with the evolution of heat. So it clearly indicates that the decrease in temperature will shift the equilibrium in the direction of exothermic reactions. Or the decrease in temperature favors the exothermic reaction okay so here as i said the forward reaction is exothermic that is the formation of ammonia is exothermic so the formation of ammonia will be favored by the decrease in temperature or the low temperature according to lee chatelier principle whereas the backward reaction is endothermic so it will be favored by the increase in temperature or the high temperature. So decomposition of ammonia is favored by increase in temperature or the high temperature. So I can conclude that 
increase in temperature or high temperature. favors endothermic reactions whereas decrease in temperature or low temperature favors exothermic reactions okay so this is all about the effect of change of temperature on the state of equilibrium and in my next video i will discuss the effect of pressure on the state of equilibrium so please keep watching my videos and also like and share my videos thank you very much